Green Show. And now, here's the reason the God made worms slow. Your hero, my uncle, Brad Green. Thank you very much. We've got a great show for you. And let's get right at her because i got to get my old batting arms warmed up. Tonight is the tryout for the Possum Lodge men's baseball team. Oh, baseball's a fantastic sport. You know what's America's favorite pastime? Well, at least it was before the Jerry Springer show. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, Harold, you know, it's, it's a game that you can play for your whole life. My personal hero is Babe Ruth. Fat guy, smoked cigars, ate like a pig, drank like a fish, and hit 50 home runs. <laughs> Well, you got four out of five covered. <laughs> no, no, Harold, no, I'm, I'm saying, like, if you're a natural, you can do it for a long, long time. I mean, I could be the next Cal Ripken Jr. Just call me the Iron Man. How about the Rust Bucket? <laughs> um, you know, I find it very odd that no one's invited me to try out. Really? That's a surprise to you, is it, Harold? Well, yeah, I mean, I can throw, I can run, I can hit. You know, I should be allowed to try out at least. Well, all right. Come on out. You can uh, try out his bat catcher. I, I don't have any pads. I know. <laughs> what you're looking at here is a bunch of segments from this particular show. The main message being, for gosh sakes, don't even think about changing the channel. I'll tell you something, if you're going to try and make sense out of this program, you got to give it your undivided attention. Well, there's no joy in Mudville, I can tell you that. It was just a, just a bad luck day. You'll do better next season, Uncle Red. Can't believe I didn't make the team. Where'd I go wrong, Harold? Well, you know, you were a tad slow against that fastball. He was still swinging when the other team was coming off the field. <laughs> well, hey, that was a really good attempt at a bunt, though. No, that wasn't a bunt attempt, Harold. I was getting stomach cramps from the chili dogs. And <laughs> I just, I'd bent over to let the pressure off there. And, you know, the ball hit the bat. I bunted and belched at the same time. I didn't even hear it hit. The bunt, that is. <laughs> but it was, a, it was a close call at first, don't you think? No, really? no, not at all. No. no, no, your slide was more of a, a flop. You know, <laughs> I don't think going head first is a real good idea. Oh. And you know, really, you shouldn't start sliding until you're at least halfway close to the bag. You I, know, tri I tripped, <laughs> Harold. I tripped. Okay, okay. You know, okay. sure. Uh, you weren't doing so great at catching. I saw you there. Every time you threw it to the pitcher, it went way out in the center field. <laughs> but don't worry. Looks like I'm going to be sitting in the stands with you this year, too. Oh, not with me. Huh? I made the team. What? <laughs> I made the team. What? I made the team. I did. They said they never saw anybody with a right arm like mine before, so they signed me up as the pitcher. <laughs> you made the team, Harold? Oh, yes. Yeah, I asked for $5 million over three years with a $200,000 signing. But, you know, I settled for the free shoelaces. Uh, well, uh... Wait, good, good, very good. Yeah, excellent. Good, good. That's, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking they've really lowered their standards since the league expanded. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It you know, it's yeah. too bad if they lowered them anymore. Maybe you would have got on. <laughs> well, now later on in the show, we're going to have Adventures with Bill and a little go kart. You know, something about men and cars and stuff. And, uh, you know, I, I, I guess I should have gotten out of the cart. Bill's got the gas going there, and I should have gone with the self-serve. Self I'm, getting, I'm getting soaked here, Bill, and gas all over everything. And anyway, we're all set to go and get the funnel out of there, Bill. Have you some gas? Yeah, have you some gas in there. Might want to dry that off, Bill. Don't just start her. you got to dry that off, Bill. Bill, don't just start it. you got to get the gas. Bill, it's not safe. Oh, no, it's fine. All right. Zeke just saw a wheeler rolling way in the middle of the air. Oh, I like to go out after dark and fire my gun just for a lark. It's a hobby most other folks find strange. But I like the mysterious thrill I got, never knowing exactly what I shot. Except for that time I forgot to park my van out of range. <laughs> This is for the big one. Two hours of hydrotherapy at Ernie's Car Wash. Uncle Rick, you have 30 seconds to get Mr. Winston Rothschild to say this word. 
suicide. <laughs> and go. All right, uh, depression. Oh. <laughs> depression. Septic hole. <laughs> um, sad. Empty septic hole. <laughs> If you had to go down Stinky Peterson's outhouse to unclog your hose, that would be... 50 bucks plus tip. <laughs> um, what's that guy's name? Um, um, Kevorkian. Self-help. <laughs> um, uh, Harry Carey. Chicago Cubs. <laughs> no, I'm not the announcer. What announcer? <laughs> Flying with Buzz Sherwood. Oh, suicide. <laughs> Bet you never thought you'd see me doing this, throwing out my old record album. But hey, technology changes. You gotta keep up with the times. I'm switching over to that new audio system, eight tracks. I just threw out the covers, not the albums. Because this week on Handyman Corner, I'm gonna show you what you can do with your old record albums. Don't throw them out. Throwing anything out just because it's old and won't play anymore is a dangerous precedent for anybody over the age of 40. So instead, I'm going to show you how you can turn these music records into Olympic records. And not just for discus. <whistles> Boy, a Jefferson Airplane could really fly, couldn't they? <laughs> All right, how about this? Drill the center of the record out. You can use them for lifting weights. And you just uh, slide them down the end of your bar there. And uh, actually, you know, if you're, if you're really out of shape, you might want to start with the 45s. And then you just uh, pick them up there. <laughs> Boy, these are heavy when you get them all together, kind of like relatives. <laughs> Must be some heavy metal in there. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> it's ironic, eh? The music that used to make your parents sick is going to make you healthy. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. James Last and his orchestra. Boy, we know how to party. <laughs> You know, it seems a shame to be throwing out perfectly good plastic when you could be using it to give your car a second chance at another 100,000 miles, huh? <laughs> I'll tell you, albums don't rust, no matter what Neil Young says. But first, you want to make sure that you're not uh, burning up a collector's item here, you know? This thing could be worth a fair amount of money. Pat Boone, shake, shimmy, and roll. Now we're safe. <laughs> I think the best use of albums, though, is on the roof. They're thick, they're waterproof, they're all the same size, and best of all, you only need one nail. <laughs> Look what I got here. Ed Ames, Doris Day, Easter A-Go-Go, <laughs> Sounds of Rio 68, Frampton Live. Man, there's enough of them around to redo a subdivision. <laughs> and I'll tell you, a roof like this is gonna last more than a few years. Might even break a record. And when these wear out, you can just flip them over to the B side. So remember, the women don't find you handsome. They should at least find you handy. The moms and dads, Moby Grape, the Holly Reed strings do the Beatles. Wow, the soundtrack from Love Story. Bernice must have bought that one. Accordion favorites. Well, that baby deserves an extra nail. Stay tuned and relax. Whatever this is, we got a lot more of it. I wanted to ask you guys about your friends. You notice how your friends are starting to look old? I know they're the same age as you, but you still have your youthful vitality, whereas they've started sagging, dragging, and saddlebagging. <laughs> Now you're probably wondering if you should tell them that they look like death eating a cracker. <laughs> you know, uh, I wouldn't. You know, sure, sure, you look terrific and you have some authority in that area, but I think you'll find that even your best friends, confronted with an ugly truth, can be ungrateful. <laughs> they may mention your gray hair. Certainly it's not as gray as theirs, and when you comb it up over your bald spot, you look as young as anybody who combs it up over their bald spot. <laughs> But instead, I would say compliment your friends on how good they look. I'm betting they'll do the same thing to you. And nobody needs to know that at least one of you is lying. <laughs> Especially you. Remember, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. Well, Harold had his first baseball game. 
Man, that was hard to watch. <laughs> na, 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 na. Hey, good riddance. <laughs> nice game, Harold. Yeah, oh, I felt comfortable out there today. Boy, oh boy, I had the good stuff, huh? <laughs> I had real movement on the fastball, you know, and I was getting the breaking ball over, even when I was behind in the count. Ah. <laughs> I felt pretty good. I never even had a, a no-hitter before. You know, I was nervous, but I never had one. No, of wait, wait, wait. Not technically a no-hitter, Harold. You bean four guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was the manager's fault, not mine. He sent me in without my glasses. <laughs> Wasn't easy on me either, you know. I wasted five of my best pitches thrown to the shortstop. <laughs> Well, Harold, yeah, you know, I got a, I got a, you won, I got a, you yeah, yeah, it's good, that was good, very good, I'm, well done, that's good, that was fine, there was nothing wrong with that, that was good. Do you miss not playing? No, 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 not at all, Harold, I, I don't know what I was thinking, I don't even have time to play baseball, I must have, I was out of my mind there, yeah. I, Actually, I, I'm not going to have time to come to any more of the games that I even watch, I don't think. Oh. No, I don't think so. Oh, okay, yeah. it's okay, I'll, right. just, I'll just tell the guy not to make as many hot dogs this time, I guess. <laughs> more families showing up with not you being there anyway, you know, using all that trash talk and throwing ice cubes and wrappers on the field and such. Yeah, well, I can do that anywhere, Harold. True. You know. <laughs> and, and just remember now, okay? If anybody calls you a no-good bum, don't forget. I told you first. So, you can see in those terms, why to women, movies have to have more than just guys machine gunning each other down. <laughs> Okay, who else would like to share with the group? Oh, Buzz. Uh, hi, I'm Buzz, and I'm a man. Hi, hi Buzz. Buzz. <laughs> um, I think I had a breakthrough last night. Oh. Um, I was sitting at home watching uh, television. The, the Swamp Buggy races were on, and I was sitting there minding my own business, and she comes home, right? And I know right away something's wrong, because she's sighing and she's stomping. You know, the stomp, stomp, stomp. <sighs> stomp, 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 stomp. <sighs> so, okay, so eventually, I sat up, I muted the TV, and I said, what? Yeah, very good. All right. Good so then she starts unloading on me, right, about her family and her sister's so-called dancing career, right? <laughs> and then I'm thinking, Wow, I gotta book some talent because we got a hockey banquet coming up. <laughs> and then I realized, you know, like while they're talking to you, you can be thinking about other stuff. <laughs> they won't go. <laughs> so she's talking away, right? And I'm thinking, well, I gotta fill those holes on the plane. <laughs> and then I played the entire first side of Led Zeppelin III. <laughs> and I'm sitting on the couch and I'm nodding my head. She thinks I'm agreeing with her, right? But I'm not. I'm jamming with Jimmy on the immigrant song. Okay, okay, so anyways, so she's done all this talking, right? She feels better, and I've figured out how to rewire the basement. I remembered where my baseball glove was, and I was able to name all the Bradys. Bobby. Bobby, oh, that's yeah, the one that Bobby. we couldn't remember. Yeah, right. <laughs> name that one. So I can hardly wait till she wants to talk again, you know, because then I'll get some of my best thinking done. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Bob. Well, hang on to your testosterone, because today on Adventures with Bill, we're going go-kart. I don't think you ever outgrow that. That's we're just making a little bit safer here now. We got the big truck tires. We needed a, we needed a few more tires, and uh, well, these are a little smaller, but no, they'll work fine. Oh, those are fine, Bill. That's exactly what we needed. Four more. Where'd you get these little different sizes, Bill? Bill, where'd you get these, uh, Bill? Bill, where'd you get, where'd you get these tires? <laughs> oh, great. Well, that's, no, that's great. All right, so we thought we'd, you know, make it a little race. I don't know, maybe something about, uh, something about us guys. We like little competition. So Bill gets, I'm gonna wave the green flag, and I said, well, I might as well go. <laughs> <laughs> little advantage, little advantage, what the heck, eh? <laughs> well, he's got the faster cart, that's only fair. And by golly, you know, your mind goes back to when you were a kid, you know, on the sidewalk, you know, on your big wheel or whatever, running over 
small animals and stuff. Just a lot of fun. And I'm, I'm way ahead there, and I go way up into the hairpin turn, and uh, Bill sort of goes into the hairpin turn, but he kind of turns it into a bobby pin turn and cuts right. Look at that. That's not, no, no, Bill. No, that's not acceptable. But at least for me, it explained that uh, we can lift some of the rules on this, and uh, if I want to go one way, if I want to knock them another way, if I want to do whatever I have to do, you know, it's, uh, it's not if you win or you lose. <laughs> boy, oh boy. It's if you win. <laughs> oh, there you go. All right. All right, he's catching up on me again, so, uh, hey, how about a little more of the same? Hey, Bill. Huh? It's not dangerous, by golly, these cars never flip over, and you got, the, you got all those tires and everything. Some real nice tires there to protect you from whatever's going on. Bill, look out now, Bill. You be careful there, young fella. Oh, my gosh, he's losing control. What a shame. <laughs> well, I'm doing well now. Hang on, Bill. Hang on. Hang on. There you're going to... You may be hitting this wall. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think I'll uh, see much of him for a while. Oh, Boy, he looks tired. All right. Now, that's the way you want to play up to the finish line, but hey, it's the race isn't over till the fat guy waves the flag. Not yet, not yet, not yet. There's your winner. There's your winner. <laughs> There's your winner. That makes you a loser, Bill. Why don't you prove it? Perfect. And here's a nifty red-green board game sent to us by our pal, Chucky Morgan. Thanks, Chucky. Sorry, Harold. Okay. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I got good news. I got really good news, Uncle Red. Yeah, they need it? you back on the baseball team. Really, Harold? Really? Yeah, yeah. You didn't beg him to get me back on, did you, Harold? No. No, not really. No. What? No. <laughs> no, no. Come on now, Harold. I don't want you begging on my behalf because you're going to need all the begging you've got for your own purposes, believe me. No, 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 no. There was an injury on the team, and I suggested you, and they said, ha, oh, he's a natural. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, you know, I may, have, I may have lost a step or two there, Harold, but, you know, if you use me right, eh? We're gonna. All right. Uh, yeah. Designated hitter, maybe? Well, no, nothing like that. But come what? on, your uniform's in the van, and I'll show it to you. Okay, uh, first base? No, no. Second base? No. Third base? No. Uh, shortstop? No, no, no. Right field? No. I'm on the field, though, aren't I, Harold? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the expert portion of the show, where we examine those three little words that men find so difficult to say. I don't know. Alrighty, joining my Uncle Red on the expert portion of the show this week is his best friend... Oh, okay. Instead, it's Mr. Arnie Dogan! <laughs> Alrighty, Ruski. Uh, today's letter goes as follows. Dear experts, my mother is an exotic dancer, as is my grandmother and all of my aunts. So there's a lot of pressure on me to also become an exotic dancer and carry on the family business. But I'm not sure I want to do that. Signed, Bob. <laughs> All right, uh, Bob, I haven't seen a picture of you, nor do I ever want to. <laughs> but uh, I would advise you to abstain from exotic dancing as hard as you can. <laughs> I would advise you maybe get into folk dancing or tap dancing or... I'm even thinking nuclear medicine at this point. You know, if you don't mind me saying, Red, I, uh... I think there's, there's a lot, a lot to be said for going into the family business. You know, my, my grandpa started Dogan and Sons Roofing, and, and my dad works there, and so do I, and I, I hope that maybe someday my, my son will, too. Well, I didn't know you had a son, Mr. Dogan. Well, not yet. One day, hopefully. I mean, after the cast comes off, the doctors will be able to tell me if I, I still have a chance of having children. <laughs> Jeez. More than I needed to know. <laughs> I can't believe this, Arnie. You've had more injuries than a roller derby rap party. Yeah. And uh, you're still advising people to get into a family business. That's unbelievable. Yeah, well, there's a lot of pluses, right? Yeah. You know, by being family, we, we share a lot. You know, uh, same attitude, same work habits, same rare blood type. That's come in handy. <laughs> you know, and, uh, and the people. You, you get to know the people. Uh, the roof and suppliers, the tradesmen, the ambulance drivers. It's like they all become part of the family. Yeah, 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 because you're really not one to talk, Uncle Red, because you brought me into the family business. You on his side or my side here? <laughs> you know, you really need a country song oh. to describe how you feel. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, no, I think you do. Now, here's one. Here's one that I wrote while a, a team of doctors were trying to remove parts of a Chinese elm from my large intestine. <laughs> Why does he do that? I think it'll be a high one. <laughs> My daddy was a roofer, just like his daddy was. 
And I'm a roofer too. Same as my daddy, but taller. We work all day together on the roof, roofing all the day. It's hard work and it doesn't pay worth the damn. But my daddy could never fire me because my mom would kill him. <laughs> I have never been so humiliated in all my life. <laughs> Uncle Red, come on in here and tell them what you did. No, no, you go ahead, Harold. You wrap up the show. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't even think so. Come on here and tell them what you did. Tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to tell them what you did? All right, well, being the mascot was about the last thing I had in my mind, so I didn't really start off in a great mood in the first place. Oh, I'll get you on the team, and this is the thanks I get. Harold, the other mascot started it. Did you hear what he called you? You call me that all the time. I'm family. <laughs> I was just defending the team's honor. I didn't realize it was only a paper mache head. <laughs> think of the message you're sending out to all those young fans out there, huh? A giant bear and a seven-foot parrot leg wrestling at the pitcher's mouth? Well, I didn't tell all the players to join in. That was their idea. Yeah, okay, well, it doesn't matter because the season's over anyway. Oh, no, just until the doctors remove the baseball from Buster Hadfield. Yeah. No, no, I mean me. It's just all over anyway. It's all violence and animals fighting. I got scared. I don't want to play anymore. Well, if it means anything, Harold, as far as I'm concerned, you're a real Babe Ruth. Aww. Thank you. Yeah, I mean the chocolate bar, Harold. <laughs> You're soft and gooey and half nuts. <laughs> Meeting time. <laughs> you go ahead, Harold. I'll be down in a minute, huh? <laughs> if my wife is watching, I'll be coming straight home after the meeting, and uh, I'm thinking maybe it's time for me to put away my cleats and my glove. And your pajamas. <laughs> hey, I'm not giving up all contact sports. <laughs> for the rest of you, thanks for watching. On behalf of myself and uh, old Harold over there and the whole gang up here at Possum Lodge, you keep your stick on the ice. Brannigan Food Drive went very well. And they say thank you for all the supplies, although they realize their kids are brats. They didn't think the, the paint chips and salsa was a real good idea. Ha <laughs> ha!